everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Play of the Day. This is CAG. It's 11.30, and CAG actually is setting up again right now. You could be in this, except for the fact that there's minutes this afternoon at 2 o'clock. And if you are in this, I would be out of this way before then by like 1 o'clock, 1.15. And actually, CAG could go down here to the target before then. Set up in here in the 15 minute was 60, stop over 85, and it actually set up here in the 5 minute, but I had the proper stop placement at 85, I call it in the room, and a couple people are in this. Next target really is break through the low of the day, 30.30, or really $30. I don't know if this gets to $30 today. It's got to do it in the lunchtime period here. It's got about one hour to break in here. And 30 minutes really, it's got to by noon, this has to break the low of the day. It's on its way down, it's good. Daily bar here is fantastic. And there you have it. Really nice gap here in CAG. Rated well. Uh, watch it out of the open. Saw it go and aggressively did it. And had a good had a good exit in this actually. So let's just go over the trade. Talked about this this morning. I liked it. Came up late. The gap happened late. First bar of the day here fell. Fell hard. Beautiful movement. This is not a swoosh, but a nice show of me this year into the open. Rallied back, held, immediately did it, and came all the way down, okay? So this was a nice move. Again, it happened, and a move was done here, and the and low of the day was set here so far by 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, low of the day, the stock was set here by 10 o'clock. Typical, typical, typical. Now, do I think this breaks the low of the day? Yeah, it looks like it's going to try to. But you'd be in this here waiting for it to happen, and I really think the best thing to do is to be out of everything flat by 2 o'clock unless you want to be in a long, because I think the market rallies today on the minutes news. If it falls, so be it. It's just not high odds to be uh, have follow through continuation for anything into the minutes announcement, though. So if you're in a good trade here this morning and you're up or you're profitable, try to exit your trades before 2 o'clock. But CAG is a nice short. Um, and CAG has a good target here at down to 30. And actually, if it doesn't get to 30 today, CAG could continue tomorrow morning or actually gap down tomorrow morning down to the 30 number. But it's going to try to do it. It's going to try to get going. It's going to try to break 45. Ten more pennies down in here. This will break the low of the day. And then again, like I said, could get down to 30 bucks today. But you're in this waiting for an hour now to go. And this is the thing I love about trading in the morning. This is what I love about trading in the morning. So I was in this trade in the morning. Boom. Out. If you retook this in here, where it first set up at 10.05, you're in it now for an hour and a half, still waiting, still waiting for it to go. And if you're not a patient person, it's very difficult to trade like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't consider myself a patient person. I'm trying. I'm getting better at it. But i just rather like to make the money in the morning be done. So could this go another 45 cents from the low from this morning? Yes. Is it going to go another dollar from that number? No. No, it's not. So... I call this chucking onto your day if you do a second trade like this. I think the best thing to do is just, just lay low here this afternoon, see what happens in the market, see if it makes an aggressive bullish move into the minutes or if it falls in. Either way, we'll know in the next few hours. So nice golden gap here in CAG today. Uh, a lot of people do this in the room. I think everyone did do it in the room. Nice short move here. Got it out of the gate. Very, very nice. There was a bunch of things to look at today. There were good gaps, bullish and bearish, actually, this morning. There were four highly rated gaps today. So you could have gone long. You could have gone short. You could have done a lot of different things. But I chose to do the CAG, and, and I was going to do maybe two things this morning, but it's very challenging sometimes to do more than one thing in the morning. I'm running the room. I'm taking aggressive entries. I'm getting in these things very quickly, and you got to pay attention to what you're doing. And I don't care what you do. If you're getting in trades between 9.30 and 10, that you have to focus and pay attention to what you're trading. So I typically only do one, but there was, there was more than one thing to be done today, actually. So the Golden Gap class is this weekend, June 21st and 22nd. It is the last class before the price class increases, which is going to be as of July 1st. So if you want to learn my system how to rate gaps on the daily chart to intraday day trade them or even do swing or core trades or options, then the class is this weekend if you want to sign up. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to do that. Someone was asking in the room about relaxing trades. I think trading, day trading is relaxing because if I find something I like and it sets up and I take it and I'm up right away and I'm out of the trade quickly, that's relaxing to me. Uh, being in something forever, if it takes a long time to set up and a long time to go, that's not relaxing to me. So I think you have to define what relaxation means to you. But for me, when I get a gap and I like it, like I like CAG, and it sets up right away when I'm in it, and I'm up right away and I'm out of it quickly, that's, that's actually very relaxing to me. I think it's more stressful 
to wait for something to set up for a long time or to wait for something to pay you for a long time. But you can do gaps for long-term trades, for swing trades or overnights. And actually, if CAG doesn't go to 30 today, this is an overnight trade down to tomorrow to 30. Here, this is going. This is going to break the low of the day. This is going to break the low of the day here. I don't know if it gets down to 30, but this is doing it here now in the right timing of the day to happen now into 12 o'clock. I did not re-enter this, but I did call it in the room, and some people are in it. And you could be in this. And actually, this is going to go there. Nice extension on the day here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bearish bar here in the CAG. And $30 is a realistic target for this to go. So we were talking about this idea of doing a swing trades for gaps. You can do that. Clearly, you see that you can do that. You can do it for a couple of days. You can do it for longer term. However, the fact is that day trading is really about income generation. And if you want to make money for income generation, the only thing you do with that is day trading. Swing trades or core trades take time. Things do not immediately go right away when you take necessarily a swing trade or core trade entry position. And you are also looking for big targets. You're looking for big targets because your stops are going to be bigger and they're going to be paper stops. So your position size will be different for an overnight. So you have to give the trades time to go and set up. And you have to be patient and wait. What are you waiting for? You're waiting to get paid. And if you need money right now, then the only way to make that in the market is day trading. This is why people like to day trade. Everyone wants to day trade. Everyone wants to do it. Is everyone successful? No. But everyone wants to day trade because the money, you get the money right away. And this is why people jump from thing to thing to thing. I was talking about this in the room. They try futures. They don't make money doing that. They try options. They don't make money doing that. They try forex. They don't make money doing that. And people try to day trade many different genres because they're looking for something, anything that can pay them immediately right now today. For me, it's stock trading, but not just trading stocks. It's really trading equity gaps. That's what it is. For me, if I did another strategy in the stock market, it would, it pro I probably wouldn't, wouldn't do it as a job. This is something where to make money cash flow, I really think gaps are the way to do it because of the volatility and momentum. If, if you're looking to just trend trade stocks every day as a day trader, you just, you just can't get the same money. You just can't get paid the same. And lots of times you need the market. So for me, it's not only equity trading, but it's gap trading that provides the income generation. They happen fast, they're volatile, they have the momentum, so then they can pay you because you need to be paid for the income generation. If you're trend trading as a day trader, you're not going to see the same types of moves on a regular basis for the income generation. So it's, it's more than just the fact that I am looking to day trade um, you know, to make money. I I need to have like real money. Like then it has to have a bar that looks like this. And how do you get a bar that looks like this? You, this is just, you have to actually trade the gap to get a bar that looks like that. Okay. So I think that if people want to have money on a regular basis, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, that gap trading is it in the equity market. Otherwise, you know, you can longer term trade these things. If you find that more relaxing, fine. But then you're looking for bigger targets. It's not necessarily for income generation. It's for longer term investing your wealth. And that's fine, too. It's another reason to trade. Some people want to trade just to save and they have other jobs. They don't want to quit them. But some people want to do it as a job. And I think it's a fun job. Obviously, I think I think of it. I wouldn't have decided to do it simply because of the fact that it doesn't take up your whole day because because I'm done here now. I've been done for a while. Could I be back in this? Yes. Did I want to get back in it? No. Minutes are out this afternoon and I just was happy with my morning, basically. And I didn't have 100% conviction this is going to some bigger number today because of the fact that there is an announcement this afternoon. And this one has to get sold off more to get down to 30. But it looks like it's going to get there now or somewhere near the break of the low. So follow it through. So if you want to learn how to do gaps for swing trades or core trades, you can do that. You would rate the gap. Your targets, you would figure out the targets, but they would be bigger targets. And you'd have to wait to get paid. And you can't, like be babysitting your longer term trades every single hour, every single day. You have to give them time to work and be okay with that. You have to suffer through rallies if you're in a short backup till it gets a bigger number. Things don't go in straight lines. I mean, let's just look at the CAG here actually for the longer term target. I'm saying this doesn't get to 30 today, tomorrow it does, but after 30, the next targeting CAG is 28. Okay, and that's realistic. And after that, 26. 
So, you know, is it going to get immediately there? No. And that's where you'd have to be patient and wait. So that's not what I call income generation. It's like extra money for savings or something. The income generation is the move in this here today where I did it. And our secondary move, which you're in it right now, which is going. Here, is this going to break the low? Well, this is really this is very nice today. So, so, so glad I did this. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. If you're interested in the GAC class, email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. Again, the 26-point rating system can be used to read the GAC. You can use the GAC to do what? To day trade it, which is the fun thing to do that I like to do, okay? Or to take a swing trade to know the directional bias or a longer-term core trade for the directional bias or an option because the 26-point rating system tells you the directional bias, okay? Email me at Melissa at thestockswitch.com if you'd like to sign up for the class this weekend. And uh, have a great day, everybody.